My cat does this funny thing when when there's wind, her ears she puts her ears back. <laughs> funny. like what the hell I'm like how the hell do you do that it was so sick the way they were dancing so now I want to learn those moves and I'm gonna show you how I used to dance at the raves are you ready for it DJ Rankin in the mix what a fucker Rave Island is my final destiny or maybe can't you see that I That's how I used to dance, and I still dance like that to this day. <laughs> All right, so the first move we're going to practice is the Running Man. That's the most popular. Ow, fuck! That's the most known popular move. Don't make fun of me while I'm doing this. I'm learning, okay? It's gonna take a while. Ready? Oh, well, that was really awful. Now I'm now gonna try to do it properly. Don't make fun of my fucking dancing, okay? Something extra that I don't need to do, but I don't know how to fucking fix it. Okay, here, keep on practicing. Don't ever stop. Don't ever stop. Move your body, don't ever stop. Move your body, don't ever stop. Don't ever stop. Come on, feel the rhythm. Move your body, don't ever stop. Can't get enough, come on, feel the heat. Move your body, don't ever stop. Can't get enough, come on, feel the heat. Move your body, don't ever stop. Move your body, don't ever stop. Can't get enough, come on, feel the heat. I'm taking a break because I think it's because my legs are sore. So let's take a break and then see if I can do it properly. Because I know the steps, I'm just doing it awkward. If you can see in the video. that I'm doing it right I just look weird doing it <laughs> I 
I'm doing this like forward movement that I am annoyed at and I don't know why I'm fucking doing it because I don't see other people doing it I'm like tiptoeing it so let me see if I can fix that Okay, next we're gonna do the crisscross and the heel and toe and the heel and toe is gonna fucking take a long time I already know okay here's the crisscross this one is dedicated to all the ravers in the nation Crisscross, now it's the heel and toe. So to get started, we're going to put out... Hard core vibes. Hard core vibes. Hard core vibes. Hard core vibes. That's our own thing. Okay, I'm done for the day. I'll be practicing again tomorrow. Um, these moves, you really gotta be working out... In order to do them, you really got to have strong muscles, and my muscles are weak, so it's a little bit harder to do. So it's going to take practice, but at least I'm learning, slowly but surely. <laughs> Day two of practicing my rave moves. So I learned the walking man. Okay, I try. I kind of learned the walking man. I still gotta practice a little more. I learned the crisscross. going to practice again the heel toe and that's all for this week I'm going to practice I'm going to practice those three moves and next week I'm going to show you guys those moves okay now the toe the toe one Okay, these moves taste, take practice, not only because you gotta learn the moves, but you gotta strengthen the muscles so you're able to do the moves. So I'm gonna keep practicing and maybe next week or the week after, I'll show you my three rave skills. Then I'm gonna work on some other ones. <laughs> For my breakfast today, I have some pineapple and turmeric juice that I made because I have a little bit of an ear infection. And this is apples with raw vegan caramel dip. I soak three uh, dates in water and then I add in a blender, I add the dates, uh, some maple syrup, some peanut butter, and um, water and that's about it and it makes this really delicious um, dip and I added some sunflower seeds just to see if it would make it like a nicer taste so yeah did I say everything dates peanut butter water yeah like three dates a tablespoon of peanut butter a tablespoon or so of maple syrup and yeah
Missy, what are you doing? Are you having fun? beach air and the vibes, the beach relaxing vibes. Oh my god, I smell Indian food. It smells so good. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Blue, blue sky, you better throw a party on the day that I die. Green, green grass, blue, blue sky, you better throw a party on the day that I die. We go together. Much more than just another apple thief Yeah, she's a genius Watch and learn Now she sets the world on fire Just to watch the sucker burn Load it up when the sun comes down Get away, car for two young lovers Me and the girl straight out of town Over the hills and undercover Undercover, undercover She said green, green grass Blue, blue sky good like I always say there's nothing like jumping in cold water to raise your vibration <sighs> feels so good nap time I have a message that um, came up for me and I wanted to share it because maybe it resonates with um, somebody and I wrote it down so I'm just gonna read it because I suck at explaining things like I guess that's just my personality I'm better at writing it down then like thinking at the top of my head I, I have to be in like a calm state of mind so okay here it goes okay my first sentence is when you start making changes in your life and becoming more spiritually aware certain people will fall away as they will not understand all the changes you are making in your life 
Don't tell your plans and dreams to everyone because not everyone is going to be happy and encouraging you. They are going to feel like you're selfishly taking your energy and focus away from them, but in reality, you're putting your focus back on yourself and your needs. Keep your plans and ideas hidden for a while or they will try to taint your plans and dreams with any toxic limit limiting beliefs they will want to impose on you. If it's already something that you share with them and they are already um, putting that uh, negative energy and self-doubt in you, uh, stay strong and fight the self-doubt and limiting beliefs that creep up from time to time and are triggered more deeply from these interactions. Not everyone can come with you on your chosen path. As much as you um, want them to, um, sometimes they're just not ready to, um, they have their own trauma and things to deal with, so they're just not ready to get to the next level with you and respect your decisions and your boundaries so um, sometimes you just have to let them go um, there's they may be stuck in the past still and the person that uh, they thought you were and perceived you to be so um, yeah that's my message that uh, as much as we want to take people with us to the next level it's not always possible it may be in the future, but um, you have to do what's best for you at the very moment and set those boundaries and uh, let go of any toxic um, people and behaviors um, that you're not willing to tolerate anymore and keep your energy uh, clean and clear. And um, yeah, that's my message. <laughs> Hey friends, my dinner today is olive oil, uh, garlic soaked in olive oil, and then I put um, kale and celery and pepper in it, and then I made a raw butternut squash noodle with some mushroom and garlic olive oil and pepper flake and I mixed it with the butternut squash noodles. Yum 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 yum! Oh. Still got your eyes closed 